annually supports the United Negro College Fund through the Lou Rawls Parade of Stars, please welcome Lou Rawls. We back part two special. You promised edition, it to you. Extended edition of the scenario, man. We're covering everything from the Will Smith, Chris Rock, Oscars fallout, culture fallout, like everything that goes into it here. Um, hey, like we promised, we got way more coming up here. We got the rest of the label that's gonna be jumping on here. We got special special appearance at the very end of it from the one and only Javon Bibbs. Stay locked, stay knocked in. What we got going on here. All right, this is a special scenario episode. As you know, we got Doja and Sleepy of our show just posted. They they are first. So they have the, the first react, the initial first re But So people that are listening, their reaction is literally before anyone else gets any information by the time you get this release, they are the first ones. So this is all pure reaction from these two brothers. Pure reaction. Bro, bro. I did. I didn't got my name up, but it's, it don't even matter. You do. It's, it's, I, it's on your, your name's on there. Yeah, it ain't okay. On there. I straight up thought it was scripted at first because here in America, he went up there, he did the little slap punch, whatever, and then the volume just went out, and we couldn't hear what Will Smith was saying, and I was like, "Ain't no way, Will Smith." Got Bel Air on TV right now. Up for best actor. It's going to slap somebody on the Oscars. And then my sisters, my blood sisters started sending me like video. Like, this is what they saw in Australia. This is what they saw in Japan. And I, I was texting y'all real time. Like, I'm real time texting. Like, we got to get on right now. And D, you was like, it's not real. And I was like, bro, I think it's real. Nigga, it's real. The news report. <laughs> the, the West Philly came out of Will Smith today. And there's been a lot on his plate. The whole August Alcina thing. And he got them kids that people be saying weird. And this and the third. Tupac. Yeah, <laughs> Tupac. I'm going to get Tupac. And I mean, Chris Rock was the straw that broke the camel's back, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, I mean truth, truth, truthfully, bro, like, I listen, a lot of people are saying, like, you know, I can't believe he did that. Like you said, he got a lot of sponsorships and shit like that. At the end of the day, my nigga, a nigga gonna still be a nigga at the end of the day. Like, he told y'all a long time ago, listen, I was in West Philadelphia, born and raised, a playground where I spent most of my days. I was chilling out, you know what I'm saying? And then he got to a fight. That's how he ended up in Bella in the first place. Like, bro, whether you on national television, whether you at Def Comedy Jam, whether you at Bad Boys, whatever the fuck, like, you not go get too many more licks. And I mean, everybody got they, got they, got the line and, and and Chris Rock just crossed it. I mean, granted, you know, obviously they showed the joke was light though. The mm. joke was light. It wasn't even Yeah, yeah. I mean they showed they showed Will laughing at first, but then you saw Jada's face and he probably looked over at her as a man who was once married. I can probably understand I can understand it. I mean yeah, you know what I'm saying you see being married. But I'm just saying like oh my God. But when it come down to the point, when it come down to that point where it's like somebody, it ain't got to be married, it be your kids, whatever. When it come down to that point, it's like, look, bro, at this point, it, you know what I'm saying, like, August, I've seen it in the happen. Like, I called I call him on, on Instagram. I called him Will, uh, Will Smith, Chief Keith Sosa. You see what I'm saying? Stop playing with that boy, dog. Stop playing Water. with that boy. You know I what I'm saying? Too. Like, you only go get so many times. And people were saying, like, you know, August, I've seen why you ain't doing it with him because he was trying to be, you know, it happened in the past. I'm trying to be calm, trying to be cool. This ain't going to happen again. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. And then mm -hmm. I think I think Will Smith was the butt of jokes for, like, the last 
two years. Had to be. Ever since that little red table talk she came out with August Alcina, that nigga was the butt of jokes. And I'm telling you, bro, you everybody got a point where they just be like, you know what? Fuck it. He had a, you know what? Fuck it. That, that no. moment. When you, when you as a black man have that moment in your head, I don't give a fuck who, it could be your boss, it could be whoever. When you in your, you know what? Fucking mode, hey man, anybody can get it. And that nigga got it. And he was like, oh, oh. So what was said, though, but before you go further, I, I, what was said like that, that was missed in America, Sleepy? Oh, bro, I, I, I sent it in a text. He said, oh. keep, keep, it's a video, but I, I can, I'll paraphrase. Yeah. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah. And he repeated it a couple times. <laughs> he was like, keep my wife's name out your, and it's real. He was like, yeah, I can talk about me. Y'all can go in. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. Ty even, because Will Smith even, Will Smith even made a post one time about, uh, I guess, how his life was going or whatever. He was like, somebody was trying to move a TV out of his house. It's on, it's on the Instagram page. And he said, this is just my life right now. She's just going all over the place, but I'm still standing, you know, whatever, whatever. But it did come to a point where Will Smith was like, fuck it. And if Jada Smith ever, Jada Pinkett Smith ever sees this or ever follows me or ever sees whatever handle that I posted her name on, listen, the next time that you want to post some Tupac lyrics, just think about this moment. Like, remember this moment when your man on national television in front of the world slapped the dog shit out of Chris Rock because mm -hmm. he said something about you. That's 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 the that's the nigga I'm fucking with. Like, hey, I'm, I'm with the Will Smith smoke all day. That's how I'm fucking with it. I'm, 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 I'm finna go watch the Super Gremlin. I'm finna go binge watch the whole I need the series. video with Super Gremlin playing in the background. Like, I need... I need Super Gremlin, because Will... All right, so, Pete, apparently Jada Pinkett Smith uh, has alopecia, is, is what I'm hearing. I don't know if this is facts. And I don't but know, but did, I don't, did, did, did Chris Rock know that, though? I don't know if Chris Rock knew that. I don't know. Chris Rock is just the... He's just the, he's just the last person. Like, the police. person that's laughing at the lunch table, that's the last <laughs> person is like, you didn't even really do nothing, but you was the last person I saw. Because it was a G.I. Jane joke. Like, it was it was... It was light. Like, I just seen people light Will up. Like, I just seen some comedians straight light this man. Like, that was light. All like, I've seen that, but, 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 but again, that, but again that wasn't to him, though. They was talking about Jay. They weren't talking about Will. No, no, true, true, true. True, true, true. I, I'm not, listen, I, I've never been proud of, listen, Will didn't cuss or nothing my whole life. This is the first time I heard Will Smith cuss. <laughs> he cussed in on he, Bad Boys. Okay. No, 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 no. No, nah, Daryl, this is like a different this. kind of cuss, though. Not like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Daryl, the cuss. No, he did. He said, what up, nigga? To the kid nah, when he nah, came nah. up. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. No, no, Darryl, no, Darryl. no, no. This is different. The cussing, the cussing that Will Smith did, that, that, that was that, that was that nigga. I seen, I, I seen what you said in the lunchroom, nigga. Hey, keep my, keep my, like when you were down, if I see you down the hallway, keep my wife name out your fucking mouth, nigga. That was, no. If he would have threw the nigga at the end of it, I, and this, this this the difference. Amen. Bad Boys is a script. Somebody fed him some lines and he settled. And his voice just echoed. Keep my I ain't never seen your fucking mouth. I ain't never seen Will Smith just be a nigga before. Like this is like he was like again. I've seen him rap. I've seen him, you know, in a whole bunch of movies. And yes, he is cursed in movies, of course. But this wasn't acting. We got to see. <laughs> Will in his raw form. Like, this is just his yeah. raw, and he ain't even break a sweat. Did y'all see my nigga still clean as fuck? Like, forehead is still dry, my nigga. He was like, keep my <laughs> wife name out your fucking so, mouth. So basically, so y'all basically saying Chris Rock took a stray. So, no, I mean, it, it wasn't even a stray because he made the comment. This is the thing. If it, It's like you said. You at the lunch table, you got on some wax shoes or something. Everybody joning on you. But the last person that you hear might be what break it. And he might have said something real light. It might have been like, man, them shoes wax as fuck. Like that ain't that bad. But if you that that's the one that made you go off. Now you now you won't. Like, 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 like my man Sleep said, like he could have been at the bus stop getting joned on. He could have been on the bus getting joned on, going to his homeroom getting joned on, first, second period getting joned on. Here come the lunchroom, you're still getting joned on. And you're like, all right, cool. But then it's that one, that one motherfucker. 
they just say something and you just be like <clears throat> and do you think that it was because it was on the oscars too like it was a like no, a, like no 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 i'm saying because it was public like it was like no. oh you're gonna try to do it on the world against the world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that the no, way no. that man the way that man said keep my wife name out your fucking mouth like that that emphasizes that he could have he he'd have done that he'd have done that smoke on 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 BET MTV TNT ESPN SP whatever Bro, talking about. yeah I have watched I've watched a lot of black TV a lot of black award shows Source Awards all types Source of Awards in ninety five the infamous one <laughs> Bro this I ain't seen nobody get get, get their hands I ain't seen this ever. <laughs> And, yeah. I'm so, and to slap somebody, that's even more disrespectful. That's so man. disrespectful. He yeah. slapped that man. I had at least he, thought he, I thought he stuck him. I thought he stuck him clean hard. He was like, no, no, no. Bro, slap, just slap me. I'm like. The, the, the slow motion, it's a slow motion video, bro. Uh, little Duvall posted it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He slapped the juke. Man, listen, Chris Rock, damn near your complexion now, Daryl. He slapped the black hey, off that man. Hey, dog. Hey. He was hella crazy. weak. He was meek hey, and humble. He said the hey. show must go on. And I'm hey. gonna talk about the documentary. Bro, you just got slapped on TV. Hey, did y'all see Javon have... post? Would y'all see Javon post? He said, hey, <laughs> he said, what did he say? He said, I don't care how professional you are, I just can't get slapped on stage. <laughs> bro, bro, it'd have been, been black. Hey, it'd have been a whole hey. problem. But at the same I time, just... but at the same time, man, like listen, man, again, it's only so many darts you can throw. For that motherfucker just pop and you'd be like, fuck it. You know what? And he he walked up on stage just like little mama did with Alicia Keys and Jay-Z. And and that nigga, he was like, he was like, but I mean, but this is the thing though, man. Like the Oscars is about roast, like they do the roast and stuff like that and make fun of people and stuff. You just think that Daryl, Daryl, but again, it's it's that moment where you just everybody like, fuck it. Like, Will Will was money that. money wise money wise he not losing money. I agree no, he's not gonna lose no money. Lost money too. Okay, call it what you want, but that nigga's not hurting for no bread. He ain't hurt for no hand. No, Chris Chris Rock Chris Rock not gonna press charges. What you doing up? Go get in the bed. Go sit down. <laughs> my, my daughter is stuck in here. What you doing? Go sit your butt down. <laughs> Tell she you, she on break right now, so she she outside. Shoot, hey, I. As loud as I was when I first saw it, she wasn't going, bruh, I watched the video about, before I even sent it to y'all, I watched it like 10 times. I just kept rewinding it. Like, what? Ain't no way. Hey, dog. Hey. Oh, my mama I thought that was scripted. Y'all rest her soul. I thought that was scripted. I did the same thing, bro. Like, again, because it's so, it's only so much you can take for you just be like, fuck it. You get that moment, you like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck you, fuck so now, now, question. Now, now, I'm gonna I'm play devil's not devil's advocate, but add a caveat to it. Is the scenario would do? What if it was a white guy that did this? Do you think that he would have done it? Well, it's not and, or how would the reaction have been from people as well? It would have turned racial. It would have turned okay. some racist shit. It's the yep. Oscars. It would have turned racist. I mean, come yep. on, bro. It's, it's the Oscars. Bro, no, if this it was is white the crazy part. This how I know it was real. White folks didn't know it was. Was real. They yeah, was they laughing. Kept laughing. Yeah, Lupita, if, you, if, you look at, if you look at Will Smith when he first said, "Keep my wife name out your fucking mouth," it's a white girl at the table, and she was just a chuckling. The black girl, she knew. She was like, <laughs> "Oh no!" Because she heard the August. She know the August. I've seen her. The thing is, yo, black Wi-Fi come on, and that black girl, she was like, "Oh shit!" Call my manager, get me the fuck out of here. He probably got something. Bro, on him. That white lady, Doja. she was like, <laughs> Doja, uh, that was Lupita, bro. That's Lupita from Black Panther. She and she was like, hey, listen, that let me know being a nigga universal. <laughs> <laughs> when a nigga moment happens, it, it is universal. Because she knew it's that Wi-Fi. It's that nigga Wi-Fi, bro. Oh, no, no, he said it's universal. He said it's it's universal. Candy, bro. <laughs> and I don't care where you from. I don't care if you from fucking the Caribbean. What you call it, Doja? Black Wi-Fi, Doja? Black Wi-Fi, bro. Tap in. Because I'm telling you, bro, we, we could be, listen, me, you, and sleepy could be at th from three different parts of the world, right? But let 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 us all be in a barbershop and let a nigga walk in and talk to some loud shit. Every last one of us gonna be like, "Fuck this nigga!" On. Like we don't even fuck is this nigga on? Like looking around, like what the fuck? Do he, is he gonna start some shit? And if a nigga pop off, a nigga knows to get the fuck get duck down, get the fuck out. Don't ask questions till later, right? You not gonna sit. Come on, bro. Hey man, shit. Hey. 
I'm upset. I'm tell you what, though. Listen, if you are an online comedian, if you are some type of YouTube influencer, this is your moment. This is your moment. You need to hop on this shit and just, and just go. <laughs> this is your moment. Will Smith is giving Bro. you the fuel to carry your show. Like, can you imagine a breakfast club? Can you imagine, like, drink champs? Can you imagine, like, all these other fucking things? They're going to be like, yo, Will, please, please, bro, come to our show. Or Chris, or Chris, uh, Chris, uh, say Chris Brown. Chris, Chris Rock. Rock, come to our show, please, bro, please. So, the, so Sleepy, out. you said you married at Chris Rock for this? I'm disappointed at Chris Rock because in, in the situation, if this isn't scripted, it's fight or flight. If this man gets up and is walking on stage and this is not planned, it's fight or flight. You either got to square up no, or you no, got to I'm, die. I'm going I'm to disagree because I've had a situation where – I remember uh, when we were we were putting out oh, this is back in the free time days. I was putting flyers on cars. Some dudes rolled up on me in a drop top and started hitting me with uh, water balloons. I didn't and I couldn't react because I was like, "What is going on?" It was I was like confused. You like I was like, "Is this really happening?" <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> like outside of a club, like yeah. No, you know, it was, it was like the block up from uh, XO. I was putting flyers oh. on cars, and you ain't and you ain't know them. No, no, and I and I couldn't react because I was like trying to figure out like what are they doing. So okay. I, like, so like a part of me gets how somebody can get shot, and like a real like like because I was like, what are they doing? Like I was like, okay. what are these dummies doing? And then they start throwing water balloons on me. Okay, so that that's a completely different situation. But I said, but I couldn't react. I didn't even react. Like you know what I'm saying, after you got hit with that first water balloon, I bet you got you got the fuck down, got the fuck out the way, didn't you? No, I mean, I, no, I mean, yeah, I got out the way, but yeah. I'm saying I didn't react like that, like try to jump on him because I was like, oh, like what's going on? So this is the difference, Daryl. You didn't know that if people was, had, was coming up on you at all. You hadn't said nothing about them. No. You had no interaction with these people. No. Chris Rock had, had just said a joke. He watched Will Smith get up, yeah, walk up, walk up point. the steps, and approach him. I'm telling you right now. I'm about to embarrass niggas at the Oscars. Because he would have slapped me, I'm slapping him right the fuck back. We got to fight. You not going to slap me. I'm telling you right now, on everything, we are, black folks are already embarrassed. It's already been, quote unquote, black on black crime because you assaulted me. You not get, ain't no fucking free licks. Bro, we don't play that shit where I'm from. I slap, listen, bro. These is, it's, I call this the disrespectful trifecta. Of things you can do to a man. I'm saying I'm in no particular order. All of them is gonna get you choked. A slap, a mush, and spitting in my face. Mm -hmm. Any of them three things. Cause I'm grown. If you do any of them three things to me, I open it, stop. At least punch me in my eye. At least respect me enough to say I need to incapacitate this man. <clears throat> a slap, a slap ain't for the Chris Rock didn't fall or nothing. He just got slapped. It was loud too. It and then the moment, and, it, and then it's the awkward silence afterwards where he tried to go back into mode. And I was just, I was almost, I was almost happy for Chris because he just took it and was like, all right, well, you know, we'll go back into the show. And I'm just like, nah, bro. Like, nah, nah. Oh, we have to have but uh, but also, but is there a thing? But is there a thing of like, all right, you got me. You right. I should have been on that. I shouldn't have been too much of one. I mean, better yeah, talk to me course. about it. You better talk to me. Hey, who you better talk to me about it? Have a discussion. You not for the run. People in Japan that saw Chris Rock get slapped. Australia, this shit on the world. The world seen this. Yeah, the world know now. It's official, like, and he from and the thing about it is Chris Rock from New York, and you know he goes see Knicks games all the time. And you he's from know, Brooklyn. He's he's from Brooklyn. That's what I'm saying. But you know he he's he's a Knicks fan, so mm -hmm. you know the next time he go to the Garden, like that. Hey, Chris, you got your ass slapped on motherfucking national television. And Chris' defense, I mean, Chris, he ain't no spring chicken. Chris Rock ain't had to be in a fight in a long time. I'm mean, Chris Rock is, <laughs> you know, that that ain't even nothing that he got to deal with. He, I'm sure he got security guards and shit. Like, Chris Rock ain't got to deal with none of this shit. Yeah, but see, the what thing the, about it is, it's love. Will the Oscars start having security? <laughs> Yeah, no. it, 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 I, I feel like, and I feel like, I feel like it's levels. Like it, it comes to a point where, okay, I got money, you got money, I got security, you got security. But now it's you strip all that down when a nigga walk up to you, it you know, slap you. No, like, I'm saying is the Oscars gonna have security there at the facility? They need now. to. Hey, bro, the floodgates open now. Fuck it. <laughs> I want, 
I want to see fucking Thor fight fucking Superman. I want to see all type of shit. Nah, fuck it. it bro. And the Oscars I, needed this too, because the Oscars have been boring for like the last few years. Nobody was checking for it. Man, hey, man, listen, I'm just waiting at this point. Even 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 if it comes out that it was fake and it was and it was, you know, planned. It's amazing. No, 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 no. There's still you the way Will Smith, you saw the vein in my nigga's neck. Like, He's the best actor in the world. If that's like, fake, bro, Will Smith but there, there was some there was actor. there was some truth behind that. If this was acting, there was some truth behind that. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Now it could be fake. Will's a hell of an actor. And I a part of me can see Chris Wright being like, dude, I got something that'll ter- that'll that'll shake this shit up. I'm gonna go up there and give this weak ass G.I. Jane joke about your wife. You just walk up on me and pop because he's a comedian. He probably don't even care. He like we got the moment, mm-hmm. bro. If it's real, if and, it, it, and it sets a will for his Oscar later on. Fam, hey, I'm I'm fucking. I'm gonna say it's real. Will Smith, the hardest nigga from Philly ever. Could you imagine that speech if Will gets this award and he it's like will he might have got it. He got I no, he got it. Watching, he won. Right, Stop watching it. the Oscars. No, he I won. Sleepy, he won. He did. He ta- he won. Right what after. Did he get what to do a speech? Yes. Oh, he didn't say. Oh, he was just talking about like how he's like people, you know, they got so much to say, you know, and stuff like that about like you know you have to do work so hard in this industry and try to laugh off stuff when people say stuff about pe- about, about you and you got you just sit there and laugh supposed to take it. Fan, you ain't telling that me shit no more. Fan, be fucked up. Will fellas. Sosa, nigga. Will Kichi Ki Sosa, nigga. Fellas, 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 fellas. This nigga. On national fucking TV, slapped another grown man. Went back and sat down. Security ain't no, didn't nobody escort him out or nothing. And he got to do a speech. Well, no, they said Denzel went to go talk to him. Uh, like no, no. I, hey, this uh, top. I mean, that's just big brother to little brother. Like, hey, yeah. you know. But what I'm saying is, he le- he legit in real life got to go up there in the same suit. Like, ain't nothing happened to give a speech. Yep, oh, yeah. Meek Mill. I'm disappointed in you, Meek Mill. Oh, man, that Meek Mill. He had a chance to slap up 6 9 and didn't do it. This nigga Will Smith at the Oscars just slapped up. Oh, my God. This nigga, that's amazing. Hardest nigga in Philly. Hey, dog. Hey. Somebody got to see me. For anybody at Harden, the nigga saw. The <laughs> hardest nigga in Philly is goddamn me, Will fucking Smith. And he don't even cuss for real on rap songs. Hey. This nigga didn't even cuss on rap songs. So I'm gonna name y'all segment the hardest dude from Philly. Hey. It's Will Smith. Hey, Sleepy Post. Hey, Sleepy posted it on his Facebook. What you say? It's Lu- Lupita had it. This shit is for real face, Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> all I remember seeing is Lupita's face and all the white people giggling. White people was laughing at this shit. You know Lupita was like, "Bruh, if this nigga- wild hey. is real." Lupita was like. Oh no, this shit is real. Hold on, well, oh shit, hold on. Let me get my shoes off, cause I gotta start running in this motherfucker. Ooh, fuck that. I need a, I need a new training day. I need Will Smith is training day now. Denzel done lost it. Will got it now. Will need to come on back and do a gangster movie. He can do it. He can pull well, it he's, off. He's playing Nicky Barnes. Is he really? Yeah, it's coming on Netflix in a couple of months. Nigga, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't fucking wait, bro. Hey, sleep. You look so sincere too. You was like, I can't. Ooh, wait. I. Hey, you have no idea how much Will Smith made my heart smile today. I've been thinking Will Smith was soft. I'm like, you let this fucking listen. Oh, he from I'm man, that's out. like saying somebody from St. Louis soft, and you know they from the west side or north side or something. Bro, regardless of what they are now, they still from there. My my take my take on Will Smith is 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 truthfully just what it is. Like you 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 can like cause he's decorated. He's an actor, decorated, like father, musician. He got all them tags, right? That's money in the bank. Anyway, movies, all that shit. But a nigga gonna still be a nigga at the end of the day, bro. And 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 you and you and you have only so much before it's like I didn't I didn't shook every hand. I done kissed every baby. I done been in every movie. I done signed every every autograph. Look, bro, like Mm-mm. I'm done. That, need, that, that did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have like, went up there and said, like, yo, man, hey, calm down. Or he could have went up there and been like, or he could have yelled it out. Hey, man, calm the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? But no, he was like, you know what? Fuck this. 
because he was smiling when the, he was like, ha, ha, ha. Jada kind of was like, you know, damn. And then he probably, I, 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 mm. he looked at his wife and he was like, mm -mm, fuck this. Protect the kid then. Got his motherfucking ass up in that motherfucking yeah, million dollar him. suit, slapped the dog shit out of Chris motherfucking, uh, Chris, Chris Rock. And what, what's so and, ill though about this, and some people going to flip it as a negative, but I'm going to look at it as a positive, is that. It shows like a cycle of a relationship, like how he had to go through some bullshit with his wife, but still was gonna protect her ass regardless. You know what that I mean? Like, cause some people name. be like, oh, well, your girl got somebody. Oh, no, no, that's still my lady. I'm yeah. still gonna protect her regardless. Watch your fucking mouth. Watch hey, your fuck. Listen, bro, that needs to be a hashtag. I'm gonna get a t shirt and get that shit made. Watch your fucking mouth. Oh, somebody already got somebody on the print press right now. Oh, yeah, somebody you sitting know, up. You already know. You already know, dog. You already know. And I'm, I'm just saying, Ooh. this, this shit go carry for a long time. Boy, I want. Hey, and, he, and he just dropped the book. He got to drop another. I need book a new now. book. He got to do another book. He, he got to do another book. book. I got this book. The, the first book that's real philosophical, and you can triumph and shit. I need him to do a real nigga book now. I need a hey man. I will snap the fuck out of somebody. I need that in the book. That the, the, the night I slap the first, this rock. Nah, the first chapter, the first chapter, he'd be like, all right, let me tell you where they got me fucked up at. And then he just yep. go. I'm with it. We done went too long. Motherfucker, so have, have, motherfucker, have Daryl just, just be the narrator. Okay, uh, Will, <laughs> so, you know, you got me here, uh, and we want to make sure we hear you right. Is your mic working? Yeah, it's working. All right, man, go on. Let me tell you where they got me fucked up. <clears throat> and just go. Go for, like, three chapters to talk. To but no. Man, but but Daryl, you hit the you hit the nail you you hit the nail with the hammer, bro. That's still his lady. No matter what the fuck they going through, no matter what the fuck in the tabloids, no matter what the fuck niggas think they know. Until we divorce, that's my lady. And it's only so much shit I'm gonna let y'all get off. I'm gonna let you, I'm only gonna let you get so many rocks off before I got to do something. I bet you niggas gonna think twice when they say something about Jada Pinkett in front of Will Smith. They might say that shit, you know, on a podcast. I, I don't even album. know. Hey, we'll be on these podcast streets now. He be yeah, popping man. up a few podcasts. They might want to uh, lay low a little bit. Everybody yeah, just lay low. Will, will got bread. If if we say something bad about Will right now, don't you? Will got bread. He'll pull up right now. Hey, nigga, what you say? I got to get back to the uh, to the awards banquet. But you said something about my wife. What you yeah. say? <laughs> my, Learjet, my Learjet is on page, nigga. I'm good. Hey, oh, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? All right, then. Will my name out your fucking mouth. Will, Will is good in any hood now. He can go to Wellston. That nigga can go to East St. Louis. That nigga's good. Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Shit. I'm just trying to name random hoods that niggas don't give love to. East St. Louis. Remember Arkansas, Little Rock? Go banging in Little that. Rock. Yep, he can pop up that. Wherever the fuck is violence. Dog, you know, it takes big ass. I'm a hey, fuck that. I'm grown. I ain't gonna say no damn falls. It takes big ass balls to slap a motherfucker at the Oscars. That's some big shit right there. That ain't no think about this. This the Oscars, dude. Sleepy, you brought it up earlier. You said we saw the Source Awards and it was just a whole bunch of talking. Nobody did nothing at the Source Awards. That's Bro. the Source Awards. <laughs> like, if, if there is any situation where a nigga should have been slapped, it was the Source Awards on Most multiple BC occasions. Awards. It was like 30 awards. different infractions. Yes. Soul Train Awards. There are plenty of nigga events. I'll call these nigga events that are sponsored by black. And let me say this. When I say nigga, it is a term of fucking endearment. I right. call myself a nigga. Nigga can be, as, as, as the great Bernie Mac said, a person, place, a fucking thing. It could be a verb. These niggas is nigging. Nigga means a lot to me. I'm yeah. not letting it go. I've seen plenty right. of nigga celebrations on fucking TV, from the Source Awards, BET Awards, fucking Soul Train Awards. This some white people shit. This is an Anglo-Saxon sponsored event. This nigga got up. And again, I hate it with another black man. Hate seeing black people fight each other. But shit, woo, if he just slapped fucking Alec Baldwin or some shit, nigga, that a really, boy. Well, white people don't know nothing about that, though. So, I mean, white people now you make them kind of jokes. So I don't even know. Yeah, I, I think because Will know, knew that Chris knows what it is up. Like, he's in the culture. Yeah. He know, like, okay, you you being slick. He might have let it slide if a white person said it because they don't know shit about August Alcina. 
He a celebrity for us, but white folks don't know what the fuck that is. He nobody to know. He's barely a celebrity for us. <laughs> True. So you know, but but Chris Rock should know, should know. Like you know what? I'm, there are two Americas. I call it the two America syndrome. It's plenty of white actors and singers and shit. I wouldn't know their ass from nobody. If that if that motherfucker walked in the room, I would just be like, "It's a white man here, nigga. What you want?" Like, and I'm sure there are plenty of white people. They have no idea. They know the big names. They know Tyler Perry. They they know Oprah, Will Smith, fucking Denzel. No big ass names. That I'm sure they know. But like the nigga that played the third fighter in Black Panther, they don't know who the fuck that is. Like that, 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 <laughs> that nigga just I don't know who the fuck that is. He's just a nigga in the movie. Like yep. who's, and and Chris Rock a big time name too. That's gonna make it crazy, bro. There's some Tupac smacking yeah. Biggie type shit. Like this, like like they these big names. They both got Dude, they both got bread too, like bread bread. He ain't slept ghosts from power and that shit like that. Like, <laughs> and, and I'm not dissing, I'm not dissing him either. But I'm just saying, like Chris Rock. No, Amari Hardwick. He ain't Amari Hardwick. <laughs> Chris Rock is is, you know, <laughs> it's fucking Chris Rock. HBO specials and shit, like bigger and blacker. Nigga had a TV show. Like everybody hates. But this is the one thing people don't realize. Sleeping. I was listening to an interview with Jazzy Jeff like a couple years ago. He said that they had to fight the most on tour because people was testing them every city because they was supposed to be the weak cats. Because they'd be on tour with like NWA and you know uh, Ice T and you know uh, Big Daddy Kane and Cool G Rap. And he's like, they would just be like, oh no, like they be trying to like get them the promoters to try to get over on them the most. He's like, we always had to fight. Every city. Mm-hmm. I can believe that. This is going to sound horrible. Fuck it. I'm just going to be black right now. I respect Will Smith. I've always respected Will Smith. I, obviously, I got this nigga book. I fuck with Bel Air, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, all this shit. I ha- he now has my nigga respect. And that's a different type of respect. Like, I agree. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, though, I'm, he, I'm, he's got a black history moment. Like, this gets you on them 28 days of black history moments. I need like, this, this is to believe in the politics. I need this to believe the po- Imagine <laughs> if somebody would have said some slick shit and Obama slapped him. I need this to bleed over now. The next nigga to get into a prominent position, Apollo, fuck it. Trump was wilding out. Take it to the next step. Take it to the Will Smith level. <laughs> Lindsey <laughs> Graham said some slick shit. Shut the fuck up, Lindsey Graham. I need that. That's what I want. That, that's what. <laughs> Hold on. So it's called take it to the Will Smith level. That's the next. <laughs> Bro, back in the day, they used to have duels. Back in the day, I'm talking about back in the old days. Like, I'm talking about straight senators would be like, I slap a nigga with a glove. Yep. Like, they just shoot at each other and shit. I mean, fuck it. Somebody said some slick shit at the fucking inaugural. That's group. how Hamilton got killed was a duel. Bro, I need Cory right. Booker to get up and slap a motherfucker. Josh Hawley said some bullshit. Cory Booker got to go up to him like, hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I got to hop out, man. Uh, no, well, yeah, we, 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 we fellas. Let everybody know where they can hit y'all up at. Hey, if y'all get a chance, man, because uh, I know this is going to be a collab event, please check out Just Post It. Uh, it's a, it's a, I think it's a dope podcast, obviously, because my name is on it, but check it out. It's goofy shit like this all the time. Bunch of nigga moments. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter at Gotta Go to Sleep. Got a little underscore at the end of that. Uh, fuck with us, man. This was nice. Or Doja. Yeah, We're going to hit you up Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see the name Doja, man. I'm on Instagram. I'm not really on uh, uh, Twitter. I'll be on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, no, some people that listen to audio, Dozier, they, they, you know, like, he, like you got to you gotta tell them. Some people ain't everybody on video. You said what? I said you got to let the people that's listening to audio know, too. Like, uh, how to well, spell. I'm, on, I'm sorry. So uh, it's D underscore O underscore I underscore S underscore. Wait, huh? D <laughs> underscore O underscore S underscore I underscore A. I'm sorry. I, boy, look. <laughs> I've been on spring break all week. I'm going to go to work uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, check us out. Just post a podcast. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good stuff coming into work. So, you know. All right. Join the celebration for higher education. The Lou Rawls Parade of Stars, benefiting the college fund. Join Alex Trebek, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Johnny Gill, and Mr. Lou Rawls. As they light up the stage with superstars Ray Charles, Boys to Men, John Cicada, Brandy, MC Hammer, The Whispers, and many more. It's the biggest entertainment event of the year. The Lou Rawls Parade of Stars. Don't miss it. Saturday night, January 6th at 7 p.m. But I only listen to 
90s Music Podcast is a show for 80s babies who were 90s kids. If you were a No Limit Soldier, then this is your show. If you believe that cash money is not an army, but was a Navy, this is the show for you. If you and your friends ever tried to sing a song written by Escape, in vogue shy or voiced men at a talent show during middle school this is your show but i only listen to 90s music podcast is a bunch of 80s babies talking about all the songs and things that we loved when we were kids and teenagers so if you went to the skating rink and you were at a lock-in this is the the show for you if you think that tevin campbell um was the original prince of r&b this is the show for you if you don't understand the the conflict between Monica and Brandy, but you're kind of on Monica's side and understand why Brandy got punched. This is the show for you. Make sure that you tune in, subscribe, click the little subscribe link. We're here. We're going to talk about all things 90s music. This is the show for you. <laughs> we are Yo. back with I Only Listen to 90s Music, my compadres. Matt's first time actually being with them on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, Look at what we're another, doing. another way that this is the Lou Rawls S O L C Parade of Stars uh, uh, edition. Um, I will we'll talk to y'all after y'all get off here. Who y'all want to represent y'all in the graphics for the Lou Rawls Parade of Stars? <laughs> but Matt, you had your direct question. I will let you jump in early. All right, man. So I thought about this right away. A lot of things came to my spirit as I watched the events transpire on the interwebs last <laughs> night. And as we know, you know, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince, they won the first Grammy for hip hop all time way back in the day. But they've also got that rap and Will especially has got that rap of being that guy that makes kind of that, I call it cuddle rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, hey, everybody's safe. We just having a good time type rap. But with him taking this position he took last night, did Will erase many years of disrespect for the kind of rapper that he is? Uh... I don't know. I don't think it took anything away from his music, but I do think it's getting him ready for that Nicky Barnes role. Oh. Because he's never had no gangster. He's yes, never it's on Netflix no, coming up. You know, he's never had no gangster role. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, even if he drops a record tomorrow, it's still going to be the same type of songs that he's done before. So I, I think at this point in his career, that's just something that he's not worried about, right? Like he's addressed it, he's talked about it, people thought I was corny, whatever, like, but I made <laughs> money and that's it. I did what I love doing and I was, I did well, that's the end of that. So I don't think, I, I don't think it, it takes away from what people thought about him and his music. I don't think it erased anything. If anything, now it's like, hey, you might not want to fuck with Will. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, that's how I said, so that's what I'm saying though. I feel like Will, now it's like I told y'all don't talk shit about me back in the day. I'm just I now I had to put it on display for you 30 years later. See, yeah. I started having respect for Will. He had that song, You Saw My Blinker, bitch. And yeah. that's when I was like, oh, okay, this is something different. <laughs> I saw that then. He had a song, You Saw My Blinker, bitch. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And I, was, I remember when I heard it, I was like, it was a kid. I was like, <laughs> You saw so my you blinker. mentioned it earlier. That was his tip drill, D. You asked me earlier if that was his tip. That was his tip drill moment. Not that was his tip drill moment. <laughs> but, uh, we're taking a quick walk, closing so, the door. All right. So what song was was Will thinking about when he got up to make this happen? And what a Chris oh, that's song easy. when he got hit. Oh, that's easy. Um, the song that Will was um, thinking about is a song that I like uh, from the, uh, No Limits. Uh, somebody oh, you already got Matt on board. Um, that's it. Is uh, he? He? I think he just in his mind he just started hearing it and just was like, I think somebody won't be asking. And then I think he, I think Jada, <laughs> like she did, he didn't, he may not have been saying it, but Jada felt it in her <laughs> spirit and was whispering, I think somebody won't be weak split. And I think that's what <laughs> was in his head. And um, so he had to do what he had to do. Scott, I don't know what Chris is thinking about. I know what he I know what song he was thinking when he was walking back to his seat. Uh I bet you won't. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, my mama said on Facebook today, she said, I'm gonna tell you right now, you better not slap me and then turn your back. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. 
A. It was a level of confidence that I've seen few people. It, he crossed over into foolish confidence. He slapped yeah. that man and then turned around and kind of straightened himself up a little bit. I was like, yeah. Will damn near went up there and took that glove off. Yeah, like I got into a duel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say all the time, man. Like I, I was telling that we just had uh, the brothers from um from, from the pro wrestling show on, man, and we was just talking. I said I need soundtracks for that whole thing. Like I need for people to take that whole walk that Will took up there. You know, from the Japanese version before they dropped it off of US TV. I right. need for people to make like a score to this. Like I like like I want it to be like an American gangster type feel. Like I want to watch this thing. I want to be able to sit back. I want to be able to have a little good drink. I want to be able to watch this slap on repeat with a different track that fits the move the whole time. Like I I, I just need it. Like a versus even level of of, of celebration for this thing. <laughs> Nothing but fight songs getting played. I know I'm copping tickets to uh for the Chris Rock tour this week. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very, <in June>. Yes. <laughs> I, so, I, I, I said I wear my fresh my fresh Prince fives to it too. Just like <laughs> to bring the world. Okay, I think so, I got uh, some Bel Air stuff at home too. So yeah, definitely got to wear that. So what what are y'all initial thoughts about the whole ruckus and fray? Um, does this taint Will's career? Does <clears throat> it taint Chris Rock? What are y'all kind of thoughts about everything? I think nothing happens to either one of their careers. I just think it was just uh. A guy caught in a bad moment, you know, on national TV. Uh, I think they, I think they'll squash it or whatever. Or, or Chris Rock gonna have some jokes on, you know, on his tour. <laughs> yeah, I think Chris Rock is definitely probably gonna make some jokes about it. Because um, right now there's a an apology floating around that allegedly Chris wrote, but he didn't. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's. So if anybody sees that, it's not true. Um, okay, so the apology isn't real. Okay, I've seen that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, the Chris Rock apology is not real the apology that came from Will Smith is real. Like that actually came from Will, it's on Will's page, all of that. Yeah. So um, I think w Will was disappointed in himself last night. Yeah. Like he immediately like kind of just knew the, I don't say the severity of the situation, but just kind of really, once he came out of that anger and that adrenaline stopped rushing, it was kind of like, wait a minute. Like this, I kind of, I kind of. I kinda uh, uh, Kevin out. Samuel's going live right now to talk about it. We found out, but continue. <laughs> I just want people to know to keep us. We, it's the Blue Rose Parade of Stars. We keep people <laughs> updated what's going on in the regular world as well. So, so Kevin Samuel's now went live to discuss this. I hated her. And <laughs> I wonder, it's like, I feel like Kevin Samuels has been slapped before, but it's usually by women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah mostly right? women. Like that's it, mostly it's been women that have slapped him. It's, he's never been slapped open face, slapped, mind you, um, by another man. I got I got to say I'm really glad that it was a slap though. Like everything about this situation as best as it <laughs> could turn out did because if Will would have went up there and tried to buckle Chris, we would have been having a, an even worse type of conversation. Uh, what my boy we... Jerome say? They squabbling. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a yeah, <laughs> them boys up there tussling like the um i think with chris like because everybody cause i know initially everybody thought it was fake like i mean when so when scott sent us the link yesterday i was like wait a minute is this really going on so it looked like it was like maybe it was fake but like when you look at chris look at it again chris is kind of like older right and i think he just was in shock at what just happened so it wasn't yeah. like, oh, Chris ain't like, he, just, he a punk ain't like, no, nah, I don't think it's nah, that. It was really know. like, yeah. it was like, wait a minute. Whoa, like, what the fuck? Like, Will Smith just slapped the fuck out of me. Like, he was really trying to process what was going on. But at the end of the day, them niggas would have been on stage straight fighting. Yeah, because been, Will from like, West Philly, uh, Chris Rock from bed -Stuy, niggas would have had it out on stage. Yeah. Black folks would have never been at the Oscars again. We just started being able to go like two years ago. That's what I'm saying. We ain't been we ain't been there since Jamie. <laughs> so and the funny thing about it is hey, I'm since like, Jamie Foxx, goddamn that's whole okay. <laughs> This was the anniversary of the hustle and flow win, too, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, with uh three six. Yeah, yeah whoop that shit. Oh, trick. that's that whoop is that, that means that nothing trick. no more. That means nothing. <laughs> that's gone. Whoop that's, that trick. So that's com that's completely removed now. And here's my thing about it. It so the Oscars. Absolutely. Oscar's so white is still a thing, by the way. Look at these people behind me. A couple brothers back there. There's a brother hiding behind me right there. But <laughs> also, at the end of the day, when we look at the, 
unfortunately, this is going to be the most notable moment in Oscars history. Right. Like, without a doubt. You can play yeah. all the E.T. John Williams soundtracks you want and all of the in memoriam. Have Common come that. out there and do some spoken word. Yeah. Like, I need for somebody to create an in memoriam for this. And I need for <laughs> it to have that same music and to slow down that Will Cock. And he came back around on my man and, like, give him the whole thing. Because here's the thing. I've never seen anybody get slapped in my life and just get and like nobody has any beef with Chris Rock at all. I think that part is partially is because he softened up that whole thing with the everybody hates Chris. It gave a lot of very uh, easy jokes to make with that mm -hmm. logo and doing all that. But nobody expect Chris Rock to rumble Will Smith, like even on like a whole nother thing. And I don't think it's about saying well, if the Rock was up there, what would he have done? Nobody's slapping The Rock, first of all. The Rock would have walked down and met him halfway there. But <laughs> I was trying to think about, like, what other people would have been in that situation. I'm like, ain't nobody going to slap Eddie Murphy if Eddie Murphy would have been up there. Because I just envisioned Charlie Murphy running up on him out of the crowd. Like, like considering we got the best version of this Black-on-Black -black moment that we could get with the people that were involved in it. Because it would have been a lot worse like yeah. if somebody would have ran on stage with three six or did mm -hmm. something like that. Like this Listen, is this is tenable. This is secure. I mean, security was nowhere to be found. But I think again, no one expected Will to walk up there, and it's the two of them. Like the, the little section, that front section that they're in, security probably is looking for fans or people to like hop up. They're not looking for. And even with Will walking up there, they're probably watching and being like, "Oh, he probably finna." just you know mess with them or something like that but then it's like wait a minute it's a slap her across the world mm -hmm. and like i hate now that with him winning last night it's overshadowed yeah. by this incident yeah, slap. right like that's what people remember is about this and no one remembers that it was a black movie about a, a black father and his black daughters and and all that other stuff and the other part is that we didn't got on TV and started fought, and we fought in front of these white folks. We went to these white <laughs> folks' place and let us in their house. But the side note, Stacey, uh, right after the slap, when um, Chris Rock, <clears throat> it also kind of overshadowed Quest Love won for that summer uh, mm -hmm. the documentary. Yeah, he won yep. for that. <laughs> yeah, it like it just changed the mood of like the entire like the rest of the night, right? And uh, I think so. I hate that part of it, but. Will was fed the fuck up. And people were like, oh, it's more than just him, than what he just said. And it's about August Alcina and it's about this. Look, fuck Retired. August Alcina. It has like, I'm, quit bringing that shit up. Like, one, so, this has so nothing to, it has nothing to do with August Alcina, has nothing to do with Tupac, has nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is this isn't the first time that you didn't have Jada's name in your mouth. One. Like you did it a couple of years ago when they boycotted the Oscars because, uh, like, you know, Will wasn't nominated. He's like, oh, well, how are you going to boycott? You ain't even get invited. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. You already said it once. And now this woman is sitting here minding her damn business, being quiet. And you make a joke about her not having any hair. This woman who has, for the past several years, been very, very vocal about her struggle with alopecia and the insecurities that she's had with it. And you are a man who made a whole fucking documentary about black women's hair. So, Stacey, let me important. ask you, that, Stacey, let me ask you about that. So, should Chris Rock be taking more L's right now? We spend a lot of time talking about Will Smith and whether he was right or wrong. Is Chris Rock getting? He off? should be, and that's and that's what kills me about it <laughs> is that people are placing the blame like, well, Will should have known better, and Will should have just met him outside. Well, it's because Jada did this, is and the other, which again, she was sitting there minding her fucking business. Like being quiet, just sitting there in a dress, being quiet. But Chris is the one who was disrespectful, but no one is saying any shit about him. They're like, well, he probably didn't even know. Look, fucking Will and Jada are Hollywood elite. Jada's been very vocal about it. And the re and even when he said it, the crowd didn't even he didn't get to laugh. The crowd was like, ooh, because they knew. So how does everybody else fucking know but you? You're right. You ain't And it's like about now, that. now they're saying, oh, Chris didn't write the joke. It was the writers wrote the joke and it was on the teleprompter. They said it in his ear. He still didn't have to say it. Yeah. When he heard what the line was, he didn't have to say it. Liza Nelly was up there making up shit on the teleprompter and ain't nobody say a word. And I love Liza with all of my heart. Liza, they shouldn't have had her. They shouldn't have had her out there. I'm glad Liza was like, all right then. And now we're going to show you some stuff. And um, oh wait, okay. 
All right, well, we're going to do something right now then. Well, good. Listen, I'm going to talk about... I'm going to talk about white people for a minute, too, because okay, after, that, after that slap happened, even if that would have been a completely regular show, we had this moment for Will, we enjoyed it. Yo, we got to stop with these legacy ass awards they be bringing people out because Anthony Hopkins came out there and damn right ain't know where he was at. And then they brought Liza Minnelli out and she absolutely did not know where she was at. I was like, come on, y'all. Read the okay. room, man. These people I, shouldn't do that. Now, what was the award Sam Jackson won? He got an honorary Oscar? Just for being a hell of movies. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think that's what I think it's what it said on there. Like honorary uh, Oscar for being a hell of ass a hell of movies. <laughs> Could be they in all the universes. They should have had to put a, a clip from every movie he was in there to fill in that space from uh from 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 Will throwing him off the script. Now <laughs> now the only person I really want to hear from in the middle of this, I don't really want to hear from Will. Like I'll go see Chris Rock. I was kind of low key thinking about it anyway, but now I absolutely got to be there. <laughs> I want to hear. I need a statement from the office of Brother Minister Denzel Washington about this effect in the community. I want to hear from the elders. Because they're going to be the people that can set the thing straight or say, hey, I'm out of it. Shouldn't have happened. Somebody said that Tyler Perry is planning an all-male gospel brunch right, right now. Um, it's like the opposite of the Rock Nation brunch. Right. It's, it's, the, opposite, the, it's the opposite of the Oprah uh, Legends Ball. Um, Tyler Perry is currently planning um, a an all-male gospel healing brunch for everybody to get together but i do love that the elders did come talk to him um i wish more men had elders in their life to come have a conversation with them um again i don't know why tyler perry went over there i guess he just was trying to see what they was talking about um was he just being nosy he just being, I think he nosy. Just was being nosy i think he just was being nosy trying to get him he's in a medium even Brad <laughs> bradley cooper came over to try to have a conversation <laughs> and like so it's like yeah they said with denzel and Tyler Perry and Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you what. You get into a rumble. I'm gonna tell you right now. I've had some white guys tell me some crazy stuff after some moments right there. Like Bradley Cooper's probably kicking over there. Hey, bro, you just gotta, you know, you gotta be over it, man. It's not. Yeah, let just, that shit go, man. She just, go. just breathe, man. It's all good. <laughs> like that type yeah. of thing. Nah, so, you need this it. your night, bro. Yeah, you need it. You need a Denzel, and probably I don't even know if Samuel L. Jackson would have been the right person to talk to you because Samuel L. Jackson would be like, I'd hit the nigga again. I feel like that's what he was <laughs> <laughs> right. Samuel L. was sitting in the back, like, well, nigga shouldn't have been running this. No, yeah, nigga, so no, like, like, like that's. He did say something about and his wife. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you don't slap a nigga, you know, shit. I'm gonna stop talking, nigga, in my life. So, so a long time ago, long time ago, back when we first were getting scenario off the ground, we did a big thing about the cookout, the ultimate black cookout, who was invited, how this played out. Like, if this would have went down at the cookout, it would have been a completely different situation. It would have been either de-escalated or escalated to a whole nother level. But the unique thing about what we saw with this is, is that we went to an absolute, completely white barbecue with uh, terrible ass food, we probably wasn't eaten. And this became one of the biggest black events that actually no black people were watching when it actually occurred until they heard that somebody was fighting of all time. It took all of our asses and took us back to middle school in the mm. course of about 10 seconds. Because yep. you got a text and you got a text and you got a text and you got a text from me, Daryl. And then I was just saying, <laughs> this is an emergency situation for the culture. And it became a whole different thing. This the Oscars damn near need to be sponsored by Hennessy now after how black this thing got as quickly as it did. We done turned this it is, into the Source Awards. This is unprecedented <laughs> in the history. So Man, for y'all, let me ask y'all this before we get yo, yo, out. Yo, I was just gonna say, go ahead. What our top five? Our top five. Go ahead. Like, like so, yeah. we earlier today we put together the top five most OC moments like in entertainment history, like live TV events. We had the OJ chase. Mm. We had Kanye hopping on stage with Taylor Swift. We had the uh, the malice at the palace with the Pistons and the and the and the and the, the Pacers back in the day. We had Mike Tyson biting of Evander Holyfield's ear. And which one am I missing, D? The ninety five Source done, Awards. The ninety five <laughs> Source uh, Awards. Hey, y'all forgot all dirty at the Grammys. Oh, that's another but, uh, big. Oh, with uh, with Wu Tang for the children. And he was on the run for the children. 
Dave's on the run. That. <laughs> Just know that I am so grateful that I saw the 95 Source Awards when it aired. Like that I was at home. No, I, well, I wasn't even at home. I was at a sleepover with some friends and we watched it and I was, and I got to see it. So it's like, yeah, you can see it now, but it just was, it just was different. I'm so yeah, grateful that I'm old alive. and I saw it then. <laughs> so where do y'all put this in like that hierarchy of those events we talked about right there? Is it a top, is it a top five, is it a top three, top two? Like, where do you put this at for just OC as black moments in entertainment? I give it top five. I'm giving it top ten, just because those other moments that you mentioned changed the culture, right? They were significantly like culturally relevant, and not to say that this won't be, but <laughs> let's see what this looks like in a year, right? Like we'll always talk about the '95 Source Awards. Period. Mm -hmm. Like so many things happened that night. Through, I mean, you could just pick, you could pick five moments from that, from that show, period, yep. <laughs> of things that happen. So, I mean, the OJ chase, of course, anytime you see a white Bronco, you, it's already there. So, um, shout out the white Bronco coming back this year, too. Man. So, like, with all those other, all, I mean, with Kanye running up on stage, all of those things just defined moments. And, uh, and it's something that we still talk about to this day. Will we probably still be talking about this a year from now, two years from now? Probably. But, like, I just, I need to see how that pans out. So, if it goes in the top 10, I'm not giving the top five just yet. All right. We hear that. Mm. Hey, before we let y'all go, I got to ask a favor. Because somebody asked a question in y'all, in, in just world-famous Facebook group. Like, it's, it's it's insane what that group became so quickly right there. Like, it's the definition that of is, that is That is all Scott. Like, that group grew <laughs> So quickly, I brought the added. hood. I just brought the he, hood in. He did. I was like, I was like, Scott, I just left the gate open. Group or whatever, right? Like, we're gonna, we're gonna start this little group with our right. Invite a couple of your friends, and then Scott was like, just, just started going to other groups and be like, hey, we got some music and shit over here if y'all want to come. <laughs> we, playing, we playing spades. We got dominoes. Right. Yeah. Hey, we got we got wings. There's a conversation the other day about who's been running hip hop longer, New York or Atlanta. Out of New York, yeah. Atlanta. All I want to do is to say, I just want to, I, I just want to stop through for a second, whenever that makes it on earth, because I got <laughs> thoughts about that, and I want to be a part of that, because that hit yeah. me in a place I didn't expect to be, to really be considering. I was just like, yo, hold up, this is actually a thing, because yeah. it, it made me feel extraordinarily old to realize that I've watched this entire Atlanta thing happen at this point Man. now. It starts so, for the 95 Source Awards. Like I said, like, South South got something to, to say. say. <laughs> and like, so, and I, like, the first thing I said was like, look, I'm like, I said, if you add up all of the years, I said, I think New York got it, but it's not like Atlanta is fought, like, you know, it, it's a landslide. It's like, you just, you got to add up the years. And I said, and I, and I put in there in parentheses, I have not done any research to count any years at all. I got other shit going on. But then Daryl was like, well, yeah, actually, you know, hip hop is 40 years old and this is 23. I'm like, so it's about neck and neck, which yeah. <laughs> sounds all right. Cause New York had it on lock consistently and then lost it. And then they, every time that they get it, they lose it again, easily to another region. So like they, they some, haven't had it consistently since like the eighties. I got some questions. I got some thoughts. I just want to throw a, uh, I just want to throw a Molotov into that conversation when it actually happens. So, okay. um, hey, yeah. look, we can, like, I'll, let me ch check my schedule and we can, uh, we can make that happen. <laughs> we can absolutely have that conversation. Love, love. Well, hey, y'all, hey, we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for play jumping play. in on this, uh, the Lou Rawls SOC. Yeah, the All telethon. <laughs> telethon. We appreciate y'all so much. Um, the only telethon with live dark liquor on it, baby. We needed it after last night. The unofficial sponsor. <laughs> that is funny. I'm like, yeah, I want my um. If 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 you make a flyer and anything, you need somebody like to uh, to represent me. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. Oh, Cheryl Pepsi Riley, just because I like that name. <laughs> so yeah, just go ahead. Uh, have me on there as a young Cheryl Pepsi Riley, uh, and um, that's it. I'm gonna be the barge, so I'm with it. all right. of them. Yeah, just just, <laughs> just put me put my head on each one of them. That's, that's a lot of it's, drugs. Yeah, that's a lot of drugs. That's a lot of drugs. I'll say that if you decide to be the if you be the barge, I'll be Bunny. I can I can do that. I love it. I'm with that. I do Bunny. Day. Hey, y'all, we appreciate it. Much love for having it. All right. Hey, bye. All right. Yep, yep. <laughs>
me a college man. Ma, this letter just means I got accepted. It doesn't mean we can afford it. Nonsense. It means you're smart, you work for it, and you deserve it. Honey, it's your chance. And we're gonna get you on that bus somehow. What's wishing so high, Ma? There's a way! There's got to be a way. By keeping tuitions down at its four to three predominantly black colleges, the United Negro College Fund has given a chance to thousands of deserving students. Baby, you make me so proud. But if you think the battle's won, think again. The fact is, for each one we reach, there's one we can't, not without the funds. And if we can't reach them, chances are nobody can. So support the United Negro College Fund. Because a mind is a terrible thing to wait. Now I know. All right. We are back with the SOLC Network's Blue Rose Parade of Stars uh, telethon for Will Smith. And we have in the building, Stray Low Cash's own Comedian extraordinaire Javon Bibbs is here. What is up, my G? What you got on this? Man, what's up, bro? What's up, man? What's hey, up man. with y'all, man? Hey, man, I said that I'm not doing this whole thing unless we get Javon on, man. I said I'm not doing it because there's too many <laughs> things here that matter, and I'm going to get straight into it. I was watching your analysis of this as it was happening, <laughs> yes. and I said, this is like watching a black-ass Tom Brokaw break down what's exactly happening <laughs> on this stage right now. So I need to know. I need to know from you directly, man. Okay. What the what the hell is going on from the man, oh, from, the, from the vantage point of the man on that stage? So I think, like, Chris, so people say that uh, Chris Rock, um, he playing that, like, I honestly don't think he necessarily planned that. I think that, you know, it was just one of them filler jokes. Like, you just kind of filling the room out. You know, Jada had a low haircut, G.I. Jane, too. That was an easy, like, little go-to. But I think it was some underlying with that, man, being that, okay, he will, I saw his apology today. He was saying that Jada had alopecia. I never knew she had alopecia. I'm like, I don't know Jada Pinkett and them, though. No. I'm sure Chris Rock. It, he wasn't doing nothing to be malicious. I'll say that. Chris Rock, but in, in the same, you know, same respect, like, Will, I know he might be tired of the, you know, the everybody kind of getting at him on their level. And, like, it, it is, like, almost kind of testing your, testing you, like, basically, like, if I'm sitting in the front row, and you always saying something about me, you know? And it, I don't know if they've had a, a convo, like, hey, you know, kind of ease up on talking about me and my wife. I don't know if we, because they seem like they have a personal relationship. I've seen pictures with them together online and stuff. And I know just because everybody's in the same field doesn't mean everybody is cool. So, mm -hmm. but at the same right. time, I'm not taking pictures with people on the regular that I don't mess with. It's people <laughs> I don't mess with that you probably would never see me a picture with them because I'm not going to put myself in a position to be, hey, take a picture with this person. I'm not going to do that. So in their case, I, I just think it was um, like Will might have been dealing with some shit. And uh, Chris Rock, I don't think he meant anything by it. I think he was caught off guard. Um, I think Will was wrong by the way he handled that, uh, being that, you, okay, and you go to a comedy show, if somebody just, okay, say, for instance, your wife's sitting down and she had little legs or something, and she got her legs crossed right by the stage. And then uh, somebody say, oh, man, I see you with these little, little ass legs. And then a dude like, Hey man, but the girl got on jeans, so you don't know why her legs would do like, hey man, my wife got fake legs. And then he come up there and slap you in your face. It's like, damn, like I didn't like we had a comedy <laughs> show. I didn't know your wife's legs was little because they was uh made out of broomsticks. Like I didn't know that you yo, you know, I ain't know your wife's legs. I didn't know that's why they was little, but you came up and slapped me in my face. Now we on something else. You know, it did this happen at a comedy show. I'm just saying if it happened. So I think in Chris Rock's defense, he didn't know that Jada Pinkett had no alopecia. So just making a G.I. Jane joke, nothing malicious about that. I think Will was Will used the opportunity. I think he just did it the wrong way, man. I think like, you know, me, if I'm if I'm on something like that with you, if you disrespect my old lady and I'm like, okay, I'm a, this how I am. I'ma catch you off stage in the back on some, hey, come here real fast. You know, I'm talking about man to man. Awesome. And I'm gonna let you know how I feel. Now, wherever we go from there, I'm not, I'm not, but I'm not gonna come up and just straight up assault you and put my hands on you. Because especially if I know you, because I want to give you an opportunity to let me know, like, like, what's up? You know, where we coming from right now? You know what I'm saying? Where we finna go? Because you know, we we go there. But 
yeah, so I, I, I do think Will was um, Will was in the wrong when it came to the way he handled it. Will know he was in the wrong. That's why he apologized today. So that's that's what I, I heard. Some females is like, Will did the right thing. He was defending his. So I'm like, okay. Now, you, if you think every man should jump out here, <laughs> and this ain't about no, you can, people could be like, oh, you just a soft ass. Look here, man. That, that kind of stuff don't bother me. But I'm going to say this. Anybody know me, know I don't play. So it's like, if you disrespect my lady, I'm going to get at you. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. But you can't really act on emotion at all times. Being that, let's just say, for instance, we had a comedy show, or you just out somewhere and somebody say something that your woman just get offended by, but this person really didn't mean to offend your woman. And you go up and you bow, you slap the motherfucker in his face, and the motherfucker <laughs> pull out a gun and blow your brains out right there on the spot. Or these same women going to say, the ones that are saying, like, Will Smith did the right thing, your man get his brains blown out from using his emotions and not being able to control himself. Did he do the right thing by getting his brains blown out? No, he didn't. You'll be like, you'll be wishing, well, shit, I wish he, you, you'd be wishing he would have handled that shit differently. But, so I'm just saying, it's ways to handle things. I wouldn't handle it that way. But like I say, if he, if he got to go anywhere, I'll be prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? From, you know, defending my woman, but I just ain't going to holler. I just ain't going to slap nobody on, you know, just pow, slap him for a joke, we gonna get some. We gotta get stuff straight first. Now, if he meant it that way, hey, we can go so, there. But yeah, so, just... so, 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 Javon, you know, Chris Rock is getting ready to go on tour. He's supposed to go on tour starting this week. Like, right. how do you, as a comedian, take this and make it work in your favor? Ooh, bro, when I tell you, Chris, Chris Rock is so brilliant to where, and I, and I, I'm gonna say, I applaud Chris Rock for, um, just. You know, him being able to keep his composure. He he laughed like, dude, what he said afterwards, well, he just, Chris Rock being Chris Rock, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. Or some he said it like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was said. funny as hell. It was funny, bro. <laughs> it was like, you know, because the fact that you said that, it's like, there you acknowledging what people saw and that's just the real of it and you being yourself. So I think with Chris Rock going on tour, bro. Chris Rock gonna continue to be brilliant. This ain't nothing but more material to use, you know, on the road. Now, I would say he might want to shy away from making Jada and Will the butt of the joke because being it is it's such a right now it's kind of like you can be classy about it and then talk about it, you know, about just getting the shit slapped out of you, you know. How many of y'all got to switch out of how many of y'all in here got the shit slapped out of you this week? Like just something silly <laughs> like that, you know, and in front of five hundred million I'm, people. <laughs> yeah, bro, and, and or, or just the fact that Chris Rock can easily come out and say, "I know y'all watch the Oscars." Yeah, that motherfucker slapped me. So, uh, like he can go past like Chris Rock's so brilliant, dog. I know he can he can play off of that. So, Chris ain't gonna have no trouble. I don't think we're gonna have no trouble either. I think this is something that happened, and um, both parties have, from what I've read online, apologized. And with them apologizing, I think that that's just what it is, man. Just like a disagreement between some people that know each other. We just happen to see it because it's two famous people, two ultra just, famous people. Because he decided to take out the Dolomite hand on national TV. <laughs> Cock hey, that Matt, thing back on him. Matt, but the hand, now, now trip off this though. Now I'm going to say this, and you know, in retro to the, to the smack, that probably was one of the most best classiest slap that we've ever seen on TV being that we really did not know. We got people arguing like that wasn't a real slap. Yes, it was a real slap. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. People like, I've, I've argued with people like that there was a real slap. I'm like, I don't, and I wasn't sure. I'm like, I don't know. It was kind of fast. Let me see it again. I've looked at the thing about 10 times, man, just to look at the slap. Like, I don't know if he stopped him for real. So even right now, I'm going to go with he stopped him for real because people apologize. And if you saw somebody for real, you might apologize. If you didn't stop him for real, you ain't gonna apologize. So, so if you saw that Javon, him walking up, you, you happen to be in the Oscars, you doing your thing, and you know, and uh, Omari Harwick from Power walks up because you talk about Hell Power no. Bam. <laughs> Omar, hey man, you know what's crazy? That's my that's my cousin's cousin. But uh, really? yeah, man. Okay, you know, well, let's use my, somebody my, else then. I don't want to use your cousin's cousin. Yeah, my With my the, cousin Angelique, that's her first cousin. Yeah. Let's say uh. Uh, uh, the little dude from Power. No, that's I guess I, I wouldn't even do that. The uh, little girl. I don't even watch Power, so whoever you say, I'm gonna just be like, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, no, not Power. Let's let's just say um, the dude from uh, Snowfall. He walking up on you because you talking about you know you know British actors 
playing American actors. Let's say you did a joke oh, about I, that. I, I, I thought you was going to say Jerome. I was going to be like, no, nah, I'm cool on Jerome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, give me somebody small. Somebody That's what I said. Do you think, think he, he had enough time to react and know something's going to happen as a comic and you're on stage? Do you, you think he had time? You on stage, you making a joke about cats remaking other people's shows. This new little Will Smith on this Bel Air going to start slapping comics too. I wish you would come up here and try to act like Big Will Smith. I'm going to say this, bro. A comic like at a comedy show, you, and so in defense of Chris Rock, I was like Chris Rock probably was just shot. That like I'm trying to like think of people like man, he should have did this, he should have did that. I'm like man, look, this man hosting the Oscars, he probably wasn't even thinking in his mind like that. This dude finna really run up on me. <laughs> yeah, he he look, he see Will Smith walking up, he don't know what's gonna happen, and he got slapped. And people, some people, I was kind of I was talking just a minute ago on another podcast, and I'm like uh. Telling like me and this other guy in there, we was he, he was asking me like I'm telling him like Chris Rock was caught off guard, you know. Hundred like, percent. Situation. He like, man, where you from? Where you grow up at? I'm like, okay, first of all, I grew up on Goodfellow and Lily and in North County, but that don't matter. Like, what like what they got to do with me saying Chris Rock was caught off guard? Like, just cause, so everybody talk about what they would have done, man. I would have. So I think, but I think as a comic in that setting. I get it in a, in a comedy in a, in a comedy club setting. It's always that it's a possibility for something. To go. So my my swivel gonna be a little different than it will be at the Oscars. At the Oscars, you a little more it's suit. You laid back. It's classy. Comedy club. Somebody come up and do that to me at a comedy club. Show over with. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Man, put his hands on me, especially in the, at a comedy club anywhere for real. Uh, my plan is to try to stomp your ears together. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to uh, uh, look. I'm gonna try to make sure that you don't like. You know that you you got the wrong. You got the right one actually because you thought you had the one that was gonna be a pushover because somebody a comedian. But you know, I'm from St. Louis. I'm from I'm from St. Louis, St. Louis. You know, so you know just uh understand that. So that like yeah, that that's where I would go with it. Like you put your hands on me. It's different different ballpark, different ball game. We we ain't in comedy no more. So it's so uh, so one of my last questions for you, Javon, is me and Matt always talk about how Jada Pinkett is Michael Myers to Will Smith. As she, it, it, you know, just getting him in this shit. <laughs> like, just, like, do you think that that's a possibility? Or are we just to understand the dynamics or what is kind of your thoughts on it? Um, I think they have their own situation, man. And it, it's been working for them. And... I mean, would you would you saying she she's Michael Myers to Will Smith? What how, what what are we saying? So she's Michael Myers to him because she keep coming back with all these sequels, and it keep being more beef that Will keep finding himself in for some stuff that she done, and she just be sitting there and she be the same character in each one of them. That's how she end up keep, and she keep on causing him to be the cat running down the hallway trying to get away from the beef that she bringing him into because Will don't really be starting a whole lot of this until last night right but you know when you with somebody and you know like like he with he with her this ain't nothing new for them man mm. you know a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that they've been going through yeah we see it on tv but think about the stuff that they've been going through but that we don't know about like any other couple you know what i'm saying so i'm sure that this is nothing new for them you know like this ain't nothing new this is just on tv you know i think will smith said that about racism like it ain't like racism has gotten worse. It's just getting filmed more. So I just feel like the, the same thing goes with their relationship. Like it would with any of our relationships that we were on in the public eye all the time. And, you know, they was able to kind of just see you at your most vulnerable, vulnerable moment. Um, it, 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 some people can make a story out of it at any given time if we were that famous. But being that it's Will and Jada, moments like this are always going to stand out. Um, I'm trying to think. I remember back in the day, man, I like I had to uh you know what? I I didn't grab dude up, but like I almost got into a fight with somebody for doing something stupid uh to my one of my exes, you know what I'm saying, while we was out. So it like I think if that would have been on if I was as famous as a Will Smith or something, that would have been on camera. And then all of a sudden, maybe some years later, me and the same person are together, and then you might see me arguing or something like that. And then it's like, oh man, they always having, it's like, we just like any other couple. I think Will and them is like any other couple. Um, and, but it, it just, the they, they stuff is entertainment to us. To 
to a lot of people, not to us, not not to me. I don't really care. I don't care nothing about what's going on in the household and them. But I think uh, with them, they, everything is on camera, so it's like magnified to the public. So that's all. I think uh, I don't think Jada no different than anybody else. I mean, everybody different, of course. But I'm just saying, I don't think like Jada Pinkett is an alien, and then everybody else is just normal. <laughs> you know. Well, man, I. I did, Javon, I hope that don't nobody get no slick ideas with you, man, to try to hit the stage on you. I don't think that that'd be a good idea like that. But, uh, you know, even before I'm, you go, what's the crazy thing you've seen like that, Javon, where somebody yeah. <laughs> ran up on somebody oh, on stage? Dude, I done, man, what have I seen before, bro? I done, I done, seen, I done seen some wild stuff before. Um, it's funny. We even talking about this. I saw something in Miami. I, was, I won't use any names because at this <laughs> point, and the only reason I'm going to talk to you this story is I just told it on another podcast. Damn, Jesse Taylor put me on the damn on the spot. So we were in uh, Miami taping a comedy show. Yep, I remember when you were down there. Yeah, so it was called. Uh, it was, I don't want to say what it's called. But anyway, so I know I remember. Called, look, long term, uh, Stray Out Locast listeners know when you was on there what what it is. This it's called Comedy After Dark. Now I didn't want to say that just because I don't want to like say like I'm incriminating nobody and nothing like that or, or reopening old wounds. But fuck it, you know man. So it was a point in time where um, on this show, like we had the rapper Trina. Jenna Jameson, um, the porn star, uh, the chick, I think her name was Rosa Acosta, Acosta. Yeah, Rosa and Parks. V- Rosa Vita Parks. Guerrero, huh? Rosa Parks. <laughs> no, none of Rosa Parks. But it, it, I think it might have been, but it, Vita Guerrero, it was somebody else, man. That wasn't, wasn't Vita Guerrero. Anyway, those were that. So the, the theme of the show was we're going to have these beautiful ladies bring us out to the stage this comic. So um, Jenna Jameson brought out a, a comic, but she said his name wrong. And when she said his name wrong, mind you, this is getting taped. So this comic was like on some, he got on stage and really went in on her. When he went in on her, um, she got back on the mic. Cause with the host, they were like in the audience somewhere, but they had a microphone. So when he got out on stage, he was like, you know, basically like, you you uh said my name wrong and was going in on her. And then uh she said something back to him. And he and this comic was like, uh, how you gonna be sensitive and you suck dick for a living? Like he told her, he told the porn star that. So she got real butt hurt. But we didn't know that the porn star um, was, I guess, cool or, you know, something was going on with her and uh, one of the guys from the show, maybe the producer of the show. So after the show, me and a bunch of comics, man, me, Howie Bell, Marcus Combs, we were kind of like standing over in the area. And, um, you know, the producer of the show, I mean, it's after the show, though. So we were outside of this, this spot in Miami and the producer of the show, we see a big guy walking in front of the producer from the show. And the producer of the show, he, he ain't no small dude. He about like, I'm 6'2". He like 6'4". You know, he definitely about 6'3". Six, 6'3". Six, he's taller than me. I know that. And so he's walking behind this other tall dude. The comic that was on stage going back and forth with Jenna Jameson was standing in front of me and two other comics. You know, standing like, I ain't gonna say in front, but like a little distance away, maybe about five, six feet away. So with that happening, uh, we saw the, the the producer. He walking behind this tall dude. The tall dude move out the way, and then the producer is him in the comic that was on stage arguing. They face to face. It's the producer of the show, and it's that comic. The producer cocked back and pow, stole the comic in the face, in the jaw. He stole him, hit him with the right, bow, and he caught him. He caught him on the left side of his face because the way he was standing, caught him on the left side, boom, and like hit him hard. And then the producer of the show ran off and jumped in his Mercedes Benz. And like the comic that got stole, when I tell you, bro, he got a chin, he got stole and was like standing there. You know what I'm saying? He said, what the fuck? That's what he said. After getting punched like that. Now me, if I get punched like that, I might be woozy. I'm going to say, I don't know. I can't tell you what would have happened to me. I, a lot of people would have liked to have said, man, I would have had to jump in there and whoop that dude there. No, nah, you don't know. Because this dude, he got hit hard. And so the, the producer of the show jumped in the Mercedes Benz, drove up. Mind you, these are, it's all comics there, man, at this point. You're talking about Michael Blackston. Um, it was a lot of, like, a, comics that are doing very well for themselves now um, were at this show. So I would say that's probably one of the, 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 the wildest things I've seen as far as, you know, I've seen a producer from a, uh, the producer of the show, who, you know, had millions, 
punch a comic because the comic went in on a porn star and I guess <laughs> the producer didn't, he, he, he didn't like it, you know, he, for whatever reason. So, that just well, man, I hope the streets, is, I hope the streets are safe for comedians on the other side of this. I've seen a couple comedians already express their concerns about what this means for them. I said, that sounds like a personal problem to me. I think if you was I yesterday, you'll be okay today. Uh, see that, that that's what I think with comics now comics every comic want to say you know and I even made a post yesterday I said I couldn't get slapped and keep working and but you know I, it's just a little silly joke but I'm saying like everybody ain't <laughs> no tough guy we all we everybody I think everybody in the back of their mind be feeling like you know they can fight so I'm gonna tell you this I use this analogy can right now you go out and play basketball and be effective on on in a real basketball game and like do your thing and look good. Do you think you would look good in a real basketball game right now, Daryl? No. Matt, right now would you look real good? I'm going to the knee doctor on Wednesday. Absolutely not. So, I look like so, I look like Robert Parrish, uh, 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 paraplegic Roger Parrish on uh, right now. Okay. So, we all know that fighting is a sport, right? Boxing is a sport. Right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So everybody that think they can fight, everybody think they can fight. Like, oh, I can get out here like you're going to throw hands like you're going to box. You're not a boxer, first off. You know, you can't fight. Now, you can defend yourself. You know, everybody can attempt to, you know, keep in. You can punch back. But I think people need to quit promoting like they just out here fighting. Ain't nobody out here that good at fighting. Ain't nobody. If you're not a boxer or a UFC fighter, you're not, you, you can't fight. Period. It be you cats. It be cats out here talking like they be walking the streets like we playing streets of rage. Like they just be picking up <laughs> trash cans, throwing it, throwing cats. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, take it easy, bro. This ain't you. <laughs> that boy said streets of rage. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, no, but I'm saying that that's the truth though. Everybody think they can fight until you no. got to fight. Hey, you here's know? the only thing I say about it is, is that if I just got to fight because somebody just walks up to me on the street and they feel a way about it, yeah, you yeah. might catch me off guard. Chris Rock might be able to scrap. He got caught out guard last night. Now, here's yeah, the is. thing about it when I look at it is, is that Will has some initiative. Now, if you tell me that I got to have some initiative to fight, like somebody threatening my moms and my, my wife or something like that, I'm okay. gonna, them knees, them knees probably going to get enough adrenaline in them that I'm going to be able to get through at least 15 to 20 seconds. Now, I ain't going to be out here fighting no prize fighting rounds or doing nothing like that. But you can at least get through a little bit if you just got a little bit of knowledge and you ever been in some fights in your life. But everybody I, I, I today, agree. everybody today was at the absolute toughest I've ever seen in my life. And I'm just like, all right, this is going to stop. This is going right. to stop right now. You women, you're going to stop t telling me and men about the fact that, oh, you got to defend me and all this shit like you dating fucking Bruce Wayne or something. And then <laughs> on the other side of that, man, you're going to stop talking about all of this. If he would have rolled up on me, I would have. Stop that. Don't do that. It, man, it, what, it, I'm talking about everybody is doing it. If that was me, first off, you're never going to host the Oscars. Or you're never going to present an award at the Oscars. Let's get that out the way right now. Let's, just, never be let's you. move that in, first and foremost. Let's say yeah, something else, though. Is. Let's say something else, though, Javon, because this is the part that people haven't brought up in this whole thing. Most people have never done anything in front of a crowd and know what it's like to see a big crowd and you talking to that many people at once. I've done it. You've done it. Daryl, you've yeah. done it. But it's different when you're in front of a crowd and when you're trying to really take in all of your senses when you're in that yeah. environment. Bruh, so... I just talked to a gentleman on the, on the last uh, podcast. It was, you know, this was live on Facebook. And um, me and him, we were like kind of debating because he was like, no, nah, I don't care what it was. Uh, if somebody slapped me, man, where you grow up at asking me that? I'm thinking like, okay, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but that's fine. I grew up on Goodfellow, Lillian, and in North County. So what, like, what, what, what are we talking about? What they got to do with anything? They don't matter. Hey, like, you, my you, was on, is, you was on Real Niggas Records podcast. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> But no, but you gotta think about but but Chris Rock from Best Stop Brooklyn. So I mean it's not like he no punk. Man, that's what I'm saying though. So my thing is everybody, like, you know, Matt, you said it, man. Everybody, this is probably the who one of y'all said that this is the toughest that you everybody is tough mm -hmm. today. Said it, yeah. You're talking about basically Will Smith. If he would have, if we look here, I'm gonna tell y'all this. If Will Smith slapped me in my face, I'm falling out. And that, <laughs> that's just you know, don't help me up, <laughs> don't do nothing. 
I need a helicopter to come get me. Don't I don't want no regular ambulance. Get a helicopter to come get me if Will Smith slap me in my face. I'm falling. I'm saying I'm I'm not at the point in my life where I cannot press charges on I'm just saying. So anybody saying if Will Smith, if he smacked you and you fought him back, you he slapped me, I'm going down, baby. I'm I'm laid out. Matter of fact, I might be in the coma. I'm not sure. Depending on what I want to do. <laughs> Well, Javon, thank you for joining us on this Lou Ross telethon, man. Where can people hit you up at, man? Man, you can uh, – I got my ad on the screen, at Javon Bibbs on uh, Instagram. And, you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Same thing, man. Um, yeah, so just been grinding it out still, man. I'm still out here. So uh, check got the show out. coming up, bro. Pop, pop your show real quick coming up. I got a show um, April 9th at the uh, Kirkwood Theater. Um you know, me, I got there's a bunch of funny comments on the show, man. This is our first time doing the Kirkwood Theater. Um, is it starts at eight o'clock? Um, check it. I'm on a post a flyer, I'm um, on a post a flyer on my page. I'm stuttering like Pepe, uh, what's his name, Pepe the Pig. <laughs> so I'm gonna post a flyer on my page, go on my page, look at it, and uh, we go from there. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you, bro. Javon, for just coming in, bro. No, no, no bro. problem, bro. No problem, man. All right, all right, bro. Well, I'm gonna see y'all, man. Y'all boys be cool, and uh, we're gonna hash it out again. All right. Yeah, all right Hello, I'm Lou Rawls. And I'm Marilyn McCoo, inviting you to join us for the Lou Rawls Parade of Stars Telethon, benefiting the United Negro College Fund. And with Ed McMahon's help, we'll be bringing you over 100 stars, including Diane Carroll, Dick Clark, Bill Cosby, Sammy Davis Jr., Robert Guillaume O'Benson, you know. Great. Yeah, Donna Summer, Sarah Vaughn, and Billy Dee Williams. So get into the holiday spirit on Saturday, December 29th. We'll see you right here. All right, Lou Rawls, Parade of Stars, SOC Network Edition. We have politics as usual here. DeMarco Davidson. We saved hey, the substance for last. We saved the substance for last, man. So we we gonna we gonna really feel like what the what the ripple effects is in the black community here. Or Ooh. or we're gonna talk to that DeMarco that I first met many, many years ago, <laughs> who gonna talk about what was really going on out here in the streets. Well, one way or another, I think we'll get a little blend of both. So, uh, so DeMarco, man, I, obviously, man, you know, politics as usual in the building. Um, but, you know, I don't know how many politics, this is more like street politics we're talking about here with this situation, man. But um, just, man, tell me what you have seen and surveyed today in the wake of the slap her oh, around the Oscars. Oh, man, it's been crazy. Um you know, it, 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 it will. It might actually have some political effects, of what you know, who knows? You know, but just the optics of it, uh, from people uh, responding, uh, people mocking, mimicking, uh, people clowning, people claiming who's right, who's wrong, people getting defensive, offensive. It's been crazy, and I mean, I'm the real. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. But it is, and I think rightfully so. Also, you know, so it's been it's been pretty crazy, man. Just and just to see, I would say the biggest thing that that has that has surprised me are the responses from other black men who were like, "Come on, bro, what are you doing? Like, come on, like some some people like, yeah, that's right." But it's been a lot of other well known popular black men are like, "That wasn't the move, Will. It wasn't the move." You so make us look you, bad. Like, like, so, like, what have you seen as, like, you know, we talk about it, I think that, you know, we talk a little bit about what the political fallout could be, maybe not politics in the, yeah. in the, in the, the, the general sense of the word politics, but just the, the politics of the culture. Like, what have you seen this play out as in, in your spirit today? Yeah, so, uh, definitely, man, when we were discussing, you know, just community relations, when it's all said and done, like, how do we discuss things? How, what, what, what is somebody carrying? Uh, like just the different the, the different issues when it comes to emotional uh, well being uh, mm -hmm. and how we actually communicate. And, and the thing is, that's I think that's one of the things that's scary, uh, or not that maybe not scary, concerning. Like you got two men, millionaires. These are two black men who are considered the peak of their of their of their of, of, of what they represent. Legends, uh, and, and, legends, and what they represent. Yeah, legends. And they can't figure it out. You know, they can't get along. They can't, they can't figure out how to have these discussions 
Um, you know, and 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 some people, like I said, man, some people are supporting it or saying like, yep, it's time for real men to step up. And I think that's just it's just it's a, it's it's, it's I, I've known way more people uh, <laughs> um, that have got that that did not end well. It didn't, it doesn't end with just one slap and then people yeah. just walk away from it. And I and I hope that people aren't taking it from that. But some people really are. They really are thinking like, hey, if any type of disrespect happens, private or public, I'm supposed to handle it that way. So that's my biggest concern, um, you know, as well. So so one of the things that I've seen today that really kind of bothers me when we talk about it on the, the politics and the culture standpoint is just how many things have been deb debated about, you know, how you're supposed to address this as a black man in a majority white spectrum. And it's like, for me, some of the things I see that really disappointed me is, is that there's a lot of people looking at it as like, we can't do that on the Oscars because that's their thing. Right. I don't agree with that though. I, Cause at the end of the day, I think that what we do represents us no matter where it happens at. So exactly. to, say that, to say that we can't do it there, that still feels like some subservient bullshit to me. That, oh, most definitely, man. Most definitely. And, and you know, I, I did appreciate some people lifting up that the Oscars were directed or produced by an African-American man for the first time, or at least, I don't know how many other times, like, I don't know that part, but that was like, yo, you, you messed it up for him. Uh, like, it, it overshadowed, and I think that's also one of the big things. It overshadowed so much. It overshadowed the actual story of King Richard and, the, and Serena and Venus Williams. Like, the, the time to actually honor and celebrate them uh, uh, when, when, no one wanted to. One, no one wanted to make their story about their daddy uh, and, and all the hard work they've been through. It overshadowed the work of so many people that evening, uh, and, and 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 even even Will Smith's performance himself. Um, so it overshadowed, and it overshadowed nothing else. It, it definitely distracted us from how horrible uh, the Encanto. Uh, we we gonna talk about Bruno rendition was nothing else. They probably say Megan Thee Stallion. Other than that, <laughs> that's probably the only person who actually won from the box last night was Megan Thee Stallion because she definitely should have got trashed for whatever that segment was. But me blessings to her. I'm um, shout out to her. So listen, man, I, I I look at that, and so like when we look forward, and and I always look at like what can be the next domino that falls when you have something like that that happens. Like you know, I know that the Academy is talking about if they want to have you know some continued punishments for Will Smith outside of this and things like that. Like, I don't look to the Oscars for validation of black actor work. No. Like, that's, right. that's, that's ridiculous. I don't look at it that way. But I do look at it for being a thing that when you look at the milestones that are in play and things like that, that's not a mark that I want on our side of the of, of no. aisle, if you will. Yeah, yeah. And, and I hope, and like, you know, when, we, when people talk about, like, being on the other side of money as well, like, for for those who got a certain amount of money, can get away with certain things. I hope that people are do not are not looking at this as that way. Uh, that was definitely an assault. That was definitely an assault. If if Chris Rock pressed charges, I wouldn't be upset at him because um, he was performing. He was doing a job. Uh, I'm concerned about, uh, you know, uh, I'm concerned about people like Javon uh, or any of my comedians, uh, Rob, uh, Rob Moore, Tahir, uh, even people who do comedians, who comic, who comedians. They might get into it with somebody, you know, in an audience, you know, and, and they want to go there. Um, and I find that's, and that's what's so frustrating to me, too, about this. Like, and I don't, I don't you know, whether Chris understood or knew about uh, Jada's alopecia or not, like, like, Will Smith was laughing and cracking jokes with Kevin Hart and Drake when Drake released 100 real quick. Or was that uh, 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 and uh, against uh, when Drake was beefing uh, with Meek uh, Mill? Meek Mills. So he understands like this dissing, like as a form of entertainment. Um, and the the joke that Chris Rock told, like should like it was in bad taste. Probably was. Uh, it was a it was a, a joke about it was supposed to be a, like a woman empowerment kind of back backhanded joke um so it was a bad joke that doesn't give anyone the right to come up and smack anybody i don't care who it was like like yeah so it's just it's ridiculous so i hope we don't go 
to that point. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a disappointing outcome. You know, one thing that I always think about is legacy. You know what I mean? And it's definitely a thing that you saw way on Will when he was having his, giving his acceptance speech. And it was just, I can't imagine somebody being in a more emotionally complicated space than he was at that. There was so many different things to be counting on during that point. Now, all reports say that Will, you know, rallied and, and was just fine on the after party set after that. But, yeah, you know, yeah. that's a lot of emotion because if you take everything that happened last night out of the way, Will was probably like the most prominent black actor with the exception of Samuel L. Jackson, who had never yeah. gotten a, a Grammy. Both of them got Grammys last night. I'm sorry, Oscars last night. But yes. Will, Will getting his best actor, you know, it, it was a big deal. And now it's, you know, it, it it's hard for things to retroactively pass the emotion of the moment. And right. the biggest moment he had was when he won it last night. And it meant absolutely nothing in light of what all had happened and it transpired in front of it. And I yeah. really hate to see, I hate to see brothers go through things and you start to see people act out in public but what it did was is that it proved is it says is that there's no dollar value there's no cap on when how much the pressures of society the pre pre the pressures to show up and the professional mm -hmm. pressures in some regards to perform can cause you to do things that maybe are outside of your character and not how you've been yeah. in real life it's a lot it's a lot to take in when you it is it, it is I'm, i've never been in will smith's in shoes, so I don't even want to pretend like I understand the pressure uh, of, of of performing, the pressure of 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 constantly taking certain roles that the that that most likely most black people would say stay away from. Mm -hmm. You know, like like when I when I think of, of of the different roles he's played over the years, decade, like this is definitely one of our stars uh, of. And, and 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 somebody like we say from West Philly, you know, uh, and just all the things he has going on, him and his wife and his whole entire family is just absolutely incredible. Uh, and just to see all that become overshadowed for just one moment, um, you know. And, and I, I I'm I think it was somebody I, I I tried to watch a couple of different reactions, things like that, just to get a feel for what was going on. Um, you know, of course, everybody who want to be gangster, you know, all the all the all the rappers. Or like, yeah, that's what we doing from here on out. I'm like, good luck with that. Y'all not Will Smith. <laughs> <Y 'all> not, <laughs> the baby, you're not Will Smith. Uh, like, <laughs> like Lil Boosie, you're not Will Smith, man. Don't, don't try it. Don't try slapping somebody um, at an award show. Uh, and Maybe the Source Awards, maybe BET Hip Hop Awards, maybe at the most. But don't do it. Don't do it, man. That, that ain't what you want. Um, but then also... <laughs> It's interesting to see, like people, somebody quote, mentioned how uh, Will Smith apologized to everybody except Chris Rock during his like his speech. You know, so I am really, I, I agree. Like I didn't really appreciate him like apologizing to to the Academy. Like I, not like who you would need to apologize to this grown man he just slapped on 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 live television. Like so, and yeah. Yeah, man, that's that was it was it was overall it was actually devastating, you know, because um, again, Chris Rock is also a legend uh, in his own right. Um, uh, um, uh, yeah, man. So it's just, that's that's also this point, and also to think like, would he've actually done this to somebody else? You know, like I've got the one the one white dude, Ricky Ricky Barbie Gervais, Gravitz or whatever. Ricky Gervais, that's my boy. Gervais, <laughs> man, like he be going hard. Really slap Ricky Gervais, like really. You know, like he go hard. He go actually hard on people, man. Like, like, but uh, but yet, yet and still people will be paying for him too, though. Like, there's a whole nother thing. Like, y'all, y'all know what y'all get. So, uh, so, man. So, De so Demarco, let me ask you one last question, man. Before we get out of here, man. Like, what do you think is the long term impact of this for both Will Smith and for? Um, you know, the place that we see black actors and black actresses in the larger big picture of, of Hollywood and film. I mean, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I mean, heck, man. I mean, they give an award. They gave awards to Denzel for playing a crooked cop and awards to uh, what was it, Holly Berry for playing a, 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 a struggle queen. Um, I don't, 
I don't think it's a great way to put that, by the way. Struggle queen. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Struggle queen. Um, So I don't, you know, and and then when you add in like all of the uh, African American stories that are being played with British black British actors, I don't I don't see it playing a a major a major a major impact. I will say uh, it'll be interesting to see how we how, how how people really start caring about making fun or playing or cracking jokes about people um i, I think it was uh the comedian um oh, i can't think of his name right now but one of the comedians he was like you know he was being serious though he said uh that slap wasn't just for chris rock that slap have been been marinating for every single person and thing that ever cracked a joke about any entanglement, about the eight month of the year, anything that like that was a a a a, a slap that had been waiting for, and it just happened to be Chris Rock to receive that. So I think um, I think that is also like hopefully that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for that people are starting to take serious about the pressures that it really do come with. Uh, with with performance, that's my hope. So, Absolutely, yeah. Well, hold on, man. We appreciate you putting the time. Yeah, man, thank you for here. coming on, bro. But the Lou roll, uh, no problem, man. No, I appreciate, it, man. I miss y'all. Thoughts. Yeah, man. I miss y'all, man. I can't wait to get back because there's all type of stuff going on. There's all a types. lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of things happening. I'm getting ready to move to the county again, so I'm gonna have a foot out there, and and, and we got we got a, a a pour out dispatched as well. So we we'll see what's popping, man. We, We'll get we'll get rich ass Chris back on the show, and we'll uh and we'll and we'll get it popping here very soon, man. Politics as usual is definitely still in the mix. There's a lot yes. a, a lot to get into, yeah. a lot of people that we need to talk to as well. So definitely be yes. on the lookout for that coming back. Be on the lookout for myself, Demarco, for Chris, for everybody bringing in a little bit more of that depth into the uh into the SOLC situation here as well, man. But uh, we appreciate you taking the time here. Late for us. I see you got the Hugh Hefner outfit on, so I'm glad. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Like, hey, man. It's time to go to sleep. I'm like, man. <laughs> I got to take out the trash still. I got, got, got things to do. <laughs> All so, right, brother. We appreciate, I appreciate you. Man. It. Appreciate All right. you. All right. Peace.